Hi, this is Fred Gangy from ULIP Accurate Enterprise and today I'd like to showcase how to deploy HP Nimble Storage DHEI using an existing vCenter. But first, let's do an overview of what HP Nimble Storage DHEI is. HP Nimble Storage DHEI is a disaggregated hyperconverge platform that delivers the simplicity of HEI with the flexibility of converge. This new platform integrates hyperconverge control with the world's best-selling server, HP ProLion, and the self-managing experience of HP Nimble Storage to uniquely give portless management and self-services with the performance, resiliency, and efficiency needed for business-critical apps. It's simple to deploy and manage with native, full-stack intelligence from storage to VMs and policy-based automation for virtualized environments. It's ready for business critical hubs with absolute resiliency with over six nines of measured data availability and some millisecond of low latency at consistent high performance. And, and finally, it's built for efficient scale with the ability to independently scale compute and storage non-disruptively with industry leading data efficiency guarantee. That's enough with the high level marketing pitch. Let's roll up our sleeves and dive into the demo. I will deploy a new HP Nimble Storage DHCI using an existing vCenter. Okay, so first I enter the serial array.local to start the configurations. Once it's discovered, I have to scroll down and accept the EULA and then click proceed. On the next screen, I click next. Then here I have to provide the error name, the group name, management IP, I have to provide the net mask, um, also the gateway domain name, and I have to provide a new password for the admin user that we use. After that, you click finish, and then you just have to wait for the Nimble Array uh, initialization. After the Nimble Array initialization, you just have to log in using the new password uh, that you have configured and you can proceed with the subnet configuration. So for DHEI, you need two different subnets. It's, it's exactly what I do here. So I provide all the IPs accordingly to my two different subnets. As you can see, I set jumbo frame because my switch environment supports jumbo frame. So after the configuration, I click next and I have to assign the correct subnet to the correct NIC card or the correct interface from a Nimble perspective. I provide the data IP address, diagnostic IP for both controller, and I click next. Here I provide a domain name, I provide the DNS server that I would like to use, then I click next. I provide here the NTP server and then I click next. I review the support information and then I click finish. So after the Nimble Array initialization and configuration, I click on continue and this redirects me to what we call the stack setup. Um, the first page is really the welcome page where you where I review the setup prerequisite and then I click next. After I in this demo I use an existing vCenter, so I provide the vCenter host name, the administrator username, and the administrator password as well. I click on the VMware EULA, review it and acknowledge it and click next. In this demo, I create a new cluster from the Discover ProLion server. So I provide a new data center name and a new cluster name as well. And I click next. The tool discovered the DHEI server. I select it and then I click next. Here, I have to provide different IP range for the servers. The first IP range is the management IP range for Hilo and E6i server. And after that, I have to provide two different IP range for iSCSI. After IP range configuration, I have to provide a new ESXi root password and a new password for an ILO admin user that we use for Stack Manager. And I click Next. I click Add Data Store. And in this demo, I create a new VMFS. I provide data store name which is Nimble DS1. 
after I provide the data store size uh, and I select a production template, click Add and click Max. I review all the informations and I click Finish. After that, during the deployment, we take care of assigning the IPs, configuring all the vSwitch, HiSkis Initiator, the cluster, create the data store. And after that, you are ready to use the Stack Manager. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about HP Nimble Storage DHEI, go to hp.com storage slash DHEI.